All right, so I just started detecting. This was like my fourth signal. I don't know, but that is old. That's very old. I don't see any marks, but I'm not quite sure what it is. But well, that's at least 100 years plus right there. I don't know. It could be nothing. It could be something. But I don't know. I also got this big old lid on the way over here. And shell casing. Part of a shotgun shell. And just stinking like in 1981 so I'll tell you if I find anything else so this is the third one of these exact same with that star in the middle that I have found here I was told that it's probably a rivet but every single one I found has been the exact same one. Oh, hey that's neat over acres and acres and hundreds of acres apart and I found three of the exact same ones all in different corners of this area oh hey that's cool add another to the collection I found an old piece to an old comb here it's got a pretty cool design I don't know if you can make all that out Got the head on there. But hey, that ain't bad. I'm about to arrive to my destination here. Right up and around that bend there where that house site was, dating back to the early 1800s till about 1900 or so is when the, I tore it down. So I'm gonna give that area. Uh, detect that area there. I'm not gonna go right where the house was just because of all the iron I'm gonna go out a little bit because that's where I've been most successful. So see what we can get There we go First good signal over here. That's a musket ball. Woo! Heck yeah I'm just gonna continue in this little area here the house is behind me I don't know if there was anything over in this clearing, but I'm going to check it out, so let's see what we got. There we go. That's a real old bullet. It's a lead. It's got a black patina on it, but you can see the lead underneath of it. And it's got three lines. It's not a, uh, pretty sure it's not a Civil War bullet. I highly doubt it, but... It's got three lines on it, made of lead. Uh, that's 1800s, for sure. On to the next. Check that out. My first buffalo nickel on here. It's dateless, but I can see. I'll try to look better later for a date, but I'm pretty sure it's dateless. But hey, that's awesome. Great find out here. I love finding old coins. I'm just going to continue down on this path here. My battery's getting low on my good camera, but I still got my phone as a backup, so hopefully I get something good. That's real good right there. That's the best find of the day so far for me. Gotta love old coins. Alright, so you probably heard that car rolling up on me in that last video. That was a uh, worker here at the park trying to tell me that I can't metal detect here um, after I've gotten permission numerous times from numerous people from the county. Um, basically trying to tell me that you cannot take any historical item in Marion County, but technically anything is a historical item because <laughs> it's from the history. Uh, and he kind of understood that, but... Um, I just basically told him I got permission here, so I'm going to do it until unless otherwise um, told from the county because he is just a basic worker here because I have gotten permission um, numerous times from numerous people that work here 
and um, his boss, his boss metal detects out here, so I don't really understand his problem, but I don't know, that's a gray area with metal detecting. Um, you've got to deal with some people that don't like you being here. Um, his basic thing was, um, he's like, I wouldn't mind you metal detecting if you didn't dig any holes, but how are you going to metal detect without digging holes? Of course, you fill everything in. Um, I don't know, this is the first time I've ever been talked to in probably like four or five months about it. Um, so I don't know. It's definitely uh, weird. I think it's just that guy's personal uh, personal thing. So, I don't know. But I'm going to carry on. He said that he's not he said you finish up your day so i'm gonna finish up my day but i'm gonna call the county again and make sure i get permission just to make sure everything is finalized so all right on to the next guys that's a pretty cool piece guys um so i did what that gentleman told me to do and called uh, the county to make sure that i could get my metal detecting permit to metal detect here and um, what they told me is you basically don't need one. Um, I got permission from them and that's all that I need. The only thing you need a permit for is geocaching. Um, and they said that they've had a lot of run-ins with people um, coming into contact with this gentleman about that. But they said they would talk with him and that I'm fine to metal detect here. So that's what I'm going to continue to do. So. I'll keep making videos here and keep finding good stuff, so on to the next. That's a pretty squashed bullet there, guys. Must have hit something pretty hard. And it's pretty cool. So here's one of those orange trees I was talking about, guys. There's a lot of deer uh, prints around here. They come up and eat it. But there's a few of these left here, so that's pretty cool. Right by the lake here, right on the water. Hey, that's pretty cool little rivet or button, whatever you'd call it there. I don't see any writing on it. So the back's closed on there. But hey, that's neat. I love that. Alright guys. Got a steady 87 signal here. It's small and it was down about seven inches. So let's see what it is together. Oh, I feel something round. I feel something round. Oh no.